Bush. Coach here, Augustana, where Johnny Miles, the wingback number 10, Chip Wright. The receivers out of this offense is going to be the old Bobcats here. So Jeff Eames will be back to do the kicking for the Bobcats. They've held them so far. Schmidt straight drop back. Tries to clear out for Haddix. He has members of the winter, has Members of the Winifred Road Church of Christ. A personal foul or something like a holding call that would give them automatic first down. I think the Bobcats are in real good shape here. The oldest Geneva team intact. This could be a uh, major turnaround of momentum right here. Definitely. Now we're going to see how the, how the freshman quarterback... Just, just Seam was open the last time down in here. Yeah, definitely. If you could have slid in there, they could have picked up some, some major yardage on that play. Pitch in the backfield this time. Yeah, Billy Walker, uh, number four for uh, Geneva that time, came in just a little late. But there was no flag, so apparently the officials felt that uh, there, was, there was no penalty. Third and Five. set. Came up to the line of scrimmage, right at the snap of the ball. Linebackers and all. Now, they didn't blitz, but they came up for the run. If they had a short out that time, it had been open. But there's no question in their mind that it is a fair catch. So what could have been a great break for the Bobcats, they could have probably had a first down on a roughing the kicker penalty, but now we could have all setting. Tackle for the Bobcats. Howard Hughes was also in on that yeah, Nice yardage tackle onto the good coverage by the Bobcats. So they get it out of there in pretty good shape from deep in their own territory. He had a little wind in his face that time. That was a good punt from back in the end zone, Gary. He had, a, he had a strong win in his face. That was like, that was like we like to hit. Right, I don't know that. I can't, how are you asking me straight? What are you kidding me? I got trees. I like to play in the trees. <laughs> so now Geneva will set up shop first and 10 from their own 38 yard line. 518 left in the second period. Geneva six, Frostburg nothing, but the Bobcat defense, if they can hold here and try to get this ball back, to, they need a break, Charlie. They need a turnover right here, some kind of momentum booster. Yeah, a good defensive play here. If they could just, uh, Stop them in the backfield, get like a four or five yard loss. It would give some momentum for this defensive team that's been on the field all day. Schmidt back to throw. And a beautiful catch on a pass that was thrown to the outside. It's Chatarooski with the catch at the 40, make it the 42 yard line of Geneva. Gain of about four on the play, second down and six. That little flare out, down and out. He threw it to him, made a, made a nice catch on the ball. And I can't believe this kid's a freshman quarterback. Schmidt with a split backfield this time. Here goes Hatton, and that's the main, the main key to be a running back. You have to keep that leg dry. Here comes the blitz. Schmidt hadn't been caught. He was <laughs> eight for eight. Yeah, I'm just, and don't forget, Gary, he's a freshman. A little unexperienced, as the coach would say. Well, if he's inexperienced, I hate to see Jarris on the pitch this time. Bosley, he tries to get to the 30-yard line, but comes up just about a yard short. Well, there, there it was. They set it up, and then he pitched it back to Bosley, coming around the uh, left side, and he almost picked up the...